Hi everyone, today we will complete our lesson, chapter 9, lesson number 3, analyze picture graph. The pages we are going to cover today is 542 and 543. We have three objectives, we need to finish it. The first one, students will use data to create picture graphs. The second one, students will analyze data on picture graphs. And the last one, students will learn to draw conclusion using the data in the graphs. Now, as we talked before that um, the picture graph, we have the topic in the top and we have the kinds on the left. Here they are telling us that we have three kinds of favorite pets. We have fish, dogs, and cat. Now here, if we need to count how many fishes we have, we will count each fish by one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six fishes. And if we move down to the dog, we can see we have two favorite pets for dogs. And the cats here we have one, two, three, and four. Now each one of these are a vote of one. Each animal picture equal one vote. Now you can use a picture graph to answer this question. The first question say that what pet is the favorite? Now which one is the favorite mean which one have the highest voted? So we will come back again to the pictures and we will see which one have the biggest number or the largest number. Here, the cat we have four, the dog we have two, and the fish we have six. Yes, six. So, which one is the favorite one? Is the fish. Now, the second question say that how many votes does each picture shows? How many votes does each picture show? How many votes does each picture show they are asking that this picture how many voted it show if we go down to the key we can answer it each animal picture it's show one vote so the answer here is one the second question we are going to use the data from the graph to answer the questions down here the first question say that what activity is like the least the word least here, it means the fewer, the fewer number. So let's come to read this picture graph. At the top here, we have the topic, which is the favorite summer activity. And here in the left, we have four kinds of the activity. The first one is a swim, then bike ride, then inline skate, and the last one is play baseball. Now, Let's count the swim. How many it does it have? One, two, three, four, five. This is for the swim five. And for the bike, let's see. One, two, three. Inline skate, one, two. Play baseball, one, two, three. Each one of these pictures represent or show one vote. Now, what activity is like the least, the fewer? Come back again here to the picture graph and see. Yes, excellent. The inline skate because it has only two voted. Now, question number two. Which two activities have the same number of votes? Let's come again to the picture graph and see which two have the same. This is one. Excellent. The bike ride, it has three, and the play baseball, it has also three. So we have the bike ride and the play baseball. How many people like to swim and play baseball in all? Look at the word in all here mean. Perfect. Excellent. It's plus. So we are going to add the number of the people who vote for the swim plus the number of the people who vote for the play baseball. Now let's see. The swim we have five and for the play baseball we have three. So five plus three equal eight. Excellent. 
Now on this page, it's wrote for us, this is independent practice. You are going to use this data from the graph to answer the question. You have the graph here, the picture graph, as we take it now. And you here you have some questions down. You need to solve this question regarding your understanding for the topic. So I hope you do this one by yourself page number 543 if you need any help or any hint you can ask your parents uh, or someone older than you after finishing i post for you here the answers so you can check your answers if it's right or wrong So that was our lesson for today. I hope you enjoy it. And now you can read the bar graph, uh, the picture graph, and you can analyze it and you can solve the question regarding each picture graph. See you next time.